No way. Yeah, so <laughs> you're gonna, what an honor. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be in the medical literature. That's so, so uh, yeah. I measured myself on my wall before surgery and after, and there's like this much difference on the wall. <laughs> is that an accuracy on my part, or is that true? I think you're shorter. I'm like 5'2 <laughs> now. <laughs> I, told, well, I told you we were shorter than you. Yeah, well. When I was born, my mom realized something different about my back than she had seen in my other siblings. So she went um, and she inquired to our family doctor if this was something to be concerned about. And within a few exams and tests later, they discovered that I did have spina bifida occulta and that my spinal cord was tethered. She was born with this, uh, what was called a lipomyelomeningocele, which is a fatty tumor that in it, it's like a piece of chewing gum that sticks the spinal cord down to the bottom. As a child grows, the spinal cord actually starts very low in the spinal column and ascends up to the level of about L1. In patients who have a lipomyelomeningocele or tethered cord or other congenital problems, the spinal cord stays stuck at the bottom. When every time she got worse through her childhood, she had an operation. So it was this constant battle of winning, losing, winning, losing. I was wanted to go to nursing school, but wasn't able to stand or even do things for more than a few minutes without getting horrific and incapacitating pain. I remember there were days in high school where I would literally be crying in class just because I was in so much pain and there was nothing that could mask that pain. There wasn't a strong enough medication for it. It's very easy to think that I don't know what, what, what else is going to change or what other options we have. And the blessing is that we did have an option. I gave a lecture at Grand Rounds and the surgeon came to me afterwards. I think I may have a patient that, that could benefit from this. I went into the office that day wondering what on earth this amazing new surgery could be that we haven't heard of before. And it was really incredible how he presented it. It was really mind blowing. I was just in awe, hoping that this crazy idea would actually work. We've got the spine, the spinal cord's under stretch. We'll put the instrumentation in first just to stabilize things so that when we get to the point of taking out the vertebral body, things don't move. The vertebral body is removed and then gently we shorten the patient, literally by about 24 to 26 millimeters, almost an inch. I said yes. Um, if, if had I said no, I'd be looking at a wheelchair. Are you ready? It's a formidable operation. You know, usually we'll do this with two surgeons because again, once we take out the vertebral body and all the surrounding structures, the only thing holding that patient together is the spinal cord. On, you know, utilizing a robot to help us put the screws in with the highest degree of accuracy. And then once the vertebral, we have a rod put down on one side and once the vertebral body is completely taken out, very slowly we shorten and put those two pieces of the bone together until they meet. So now I can work through full shifts I, I'm not, I don't even remember the last time I was into the emergency room, which is incredible, <laughs> being that I feel like most of my life was lived in the hospital. Um, it's kind of ironic that I chose a career in the hospital. You know, as in the medical profession, to have somebody go into the medical profession, like the tour, go into nursing, is very exciting. She's called me to, for help on a project. She was working on a brain injury, and, a, and we were able to, to work on that a little bit together, which is just sort of fun. Just to see him every time I went in and be like, hey, Dr. Theodore, I went and did a mile, almost became like a challenge to me. Like, what can I surprise him with the next time I go? Nice evening run. I've been studying for finals. I love hearing the envelope getting pushed in her case. I love hearing about her successes. So I got a text message uh, a couple months ago uh, with her with the ring on her finger. And I'm engaged and I'm getting married, which is so exciting. You know, it's, it makes me feel great that, that you can take somebody who's, who is suffering, who is has a significant neurologic problem like that, and hopefully, God willing, give her a very long-lasting uh, solution to that problem permanently.